I am here for your October monthly update of what's going on. Now, I know it's not that exciting, but it is exciting because there's been lots of things happening and I want you to know what's going on, not just everywhere or here in the U.S., but also what's happening here in Guilford County. So bear with me. I promise it won't be too terrible to go over these numbers to see what's happening. So here is what we have going on. So the months of August and September really wasn't a huge shift, but there's been a very big shift between September and October. So here you can see there were active listings. There were 700 pendings, 736. But what's happened over the last month in the month of October, it has almost doubled in pending. So we've had way more houses hit the market and we've had way more houses go under contract. And another thing that's happened is the days on market have gone from 18 to now five. So the houses aren't sitting for a very long time. They are hitting the market. And what I've seen the greatest impact of, which I find to be super exciting, are the number of new constructions. It has tripled in size from what it was in the last month to now. So what does this all mean? They're forecasting that home prices are still going to be increasing. They're going to be about 5.1% on average next year. So houses are still going to be going up. And they're also forecasting that we're going to have another great year in terms of how many houses are going to be selling. So last year it was in 2020, um, it was 6.5. They're forecasting in between 6.6 and 7.5 next year. And also what's going to be happening is that more houses are going to be hitting the market. What that means is there's going to be more houses and there's going to be by sellers feeling more comfortable to sell their house. And we're going to have more builders building new construction houses, which is what we need because we don't have that many houses right now, which is already indicative of what's happening here in Guilford County right now. So is it a good time to buy and sell a house? It is because we know that they're forecasting that house prices are going to keep appreciating and that interest rates are going to go up. So right now is a good time to buy or sell a house. If you want to wait until the spring, that's great too. Whatever floats your boat. I just want to give you as much information that I can and answer any and all questions that you have. All you have to do is reach out to me and I'm here to help you in any way that I can. I enjoy the numbers, but... If you've got any other questions, just let me know and I will see you next month.